Good evening, you're watching The Logical Indian. I'm Navya Singh and here are the top five news that deserve your attention today. In a shocking incident, a pregnant elephant lost her life on May 27th in Northern Kerala after she consumed a pineapple which was stuffed with firecrackers and explosives which was offered to her by a group of locals. It was only after the forest officer Mohan Krishnan, who is also a part of the rapid response team of Northern Kerala, rescued the 15-year-old pregnant elephant that this news surfaced on social media. After much public outrage, several unidentified people have been booked under relevant sections of the Wildlife Protection Act. The forest officer has said that the only fault of the female elephant was to trust humans. In a major relief, COVID-19 hit Mumbai has successfully escaped the cyclonic storm Nisarga, the second one to strike India in two weeks. No major damage has been reported in the financial capital as the rains have stopped and the wind speeds have reduced drastically. Flight operations, which were suspended due to the cyclone alert, have also been resumed. In another major news, the police and the Indian Army in Jammu and Kashmir have shot dead the Jaish e Mohammed commander alleged to have planned the 2019 Pulwama attack that claimed at least 40 CRPF lives. The commander was shot dead along with his bodyguards at his safe house in South Kashmir's Pulwama. Now, this comes days after a Jaish e Mohammed car bomb was detected, raising fears of another Pulwama like attack. The Delhi police on 2nd of June filed a charge sheet naming Tahir Hussain, who is the suspended Ahmadi Party councillor, along with 14 others in connection with the northeast Delhi riots that shook the national capital in February. The charge sheet said that Tahir Hussain spent a substantial amount of 1.3 crores in organising and plotting the riots and also called him the mastermind in Chandbagh and the Jafrabad riots. Just a week after division bench of the Gujarat High Court pulled up the state government over cross-management of COVID-19 in the state and the poor conditions at the hospitals in Gujarat, a new bench headed by Chief Justice Vikram Nath has actually praised the state government for doing well. The bench has said that if the government was not doing anything, all of them would have been dead by now. Talking about Ahmedabad Civil Hospital, which has been making headlines for its poor management of COVID-19 and lack of resources, the new bench has said that the hospital administration has geared up and is doing well, assuring that the court will maintain a close watch on the hospital.